You're watching Delta Daybreak. And welcome back to the Wednesday edition of Delta Daybreak. Glad to have you here with us. And we are talking about Oklahoma going back out on the range this morning. Laura Howell, and yes, you're not seeing things. Our very own Steve <laughs> Dreyer is here with us. He just never stops. So glad to have you both here with us. And let's explain first that Steve is in the production. Yes, I am. Moved to town, got a job, and decided to get involved with the community theater. We didn't know you had some pipes on you. That's amazing. Hidden talent, I guess you could say. <laughs> and now the entire community is gonna gonna know here because tomorrow night's opening night. How are rehearsals going? They're going great. I'm really excited. We're ready for showtime. Absolutely. Uh, now Laura is portraying the part of Lori, who was the female lead. Yes. And is this your first performance with the Delta Center stage? It is my first performance. Wow. Yeah. So I got lucky. Now, what made you decide to try out for this particular production? Um, Oklahoma, I think, is just such a classic musical. I've always loved it. Um, so when I got the postcard in the mail from Delta Center Stage back in August, I called the executive director and I said, now when are, when are auditions going to be? Um, and I was there, so it worked out. Has it, how has this community theater compared with other productions that you've done other places? Or was this the first time ever to be on stage? I haven't done anything since high school, so oh, it's wow. been a while. <laughs> Yeah, but um, it's Your been really great. Your first adult performance. That's right. That's right. It's been great. Um, really professional um, and also a lot of fun. So I've really enjoyed it. Well, Steve, what's your background in theater? Same thing, high school, basically. Just back in the day, and the last time I performed was in high school as well. Wow. So what made you decide to do this? I like just, you didn't have enough to do already. Yeah, I just figured, you know, I just can't work all the time. I need to take an active yeah, part. Yeah, <laughs> play, play it, play it. I got to take an active part in the community besides just working here. So I figured it's a great way to get out and get to know people and might as well do something I enjoy since I was a kid. Well, have you met a lot of people? I have. I've met so many wonderful people. It's amazing. Well, Delta Center Stage is an amazing organization in itself. And this is a pretty big cast, isn't it? Oh. Yeah, it's really great. And um, there are opportunities like, for everybody to be in it and sing and dance and speak. It's been a lot of fun. It's a good ensemble piece. How many, uh, how many people in this one? Like 50 or something? Yeah. yeah mm -hmm. That's what I heard. Anywhere mm -hmm. from like, we have maybe like a seven or eight year old kids dancing up to our old man Karns who's in his 60s. Wow. So you kind of kind of got the spectrum That's there. That's right. <laughs> so how difficult is it? And community theater re does require a lot of time and I know especially the week that the show opens, you're in rehearsal every single night. You're not mm -hmm. just running lines, you're running the show. How difficult is it to work something like this into to your regular schedule? I would say it's been a lot of work for me personally. I didn't realize how much work was involved, but you do have to dedicate a lot of time mm -hmm. outside the normal hours of working. But um, it's, very, it's worth it. I do believe it's worth it, personally. But then it really, it's not every night until this week right yeah. before the show. You know, we've had Saturdays off and Wednesday nights and Friday nights, and um, we had this past Saturday off, so they give us a break. It's not too bad. <laughs> Are you getting excited for that opening curtain tomorrow night? Yeah, I think uh, I'm starting to get nervous, too. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, when you work on something for so long, you hope people will come and you hope they'll enjoy it. So um, I'm ready for people to come and see, and hopefully they like it. Well, tomorrow night is the opening night, and yes. I know that there's all, you know, with any play, there's always one little part that's like, okay, are we going to get this ready for opening night? Are we going to be there? Is there that one little part of this particular musical that, that you're still like, okay, are we going to get it? You don't Actually, have to tell us what no, it is. No, I have a scene where I have to slap him. And I <laughs> oh, <can't>, wow. <laughs> I can't, last night I really just kind of miffed him, and they really want that loud slap, and I'm just having a hard time hitting him. That's uh, <laughs> save it. Save it for the real That's production. That's right. He's not going to know what hit him tomorrow <laughs> night. <laughs> Steve, when you, when you come into work on Friday, we'll know what happened. Right. We'll have the ice pack ready. Absolutely. It, you know, take one for the team here. Well, the opening, to, opening curtain tomorrow night is uh, at 7.30, mm -hmm. and Friday and Saturday night as well in the matinee on Sunday. So, you know, four straight performances yes. um, but I think everybody's looking forward to it. I mean Rogers and Hammerstein I mean how much more can't can get wrong oh yeah. not at all great music in this mm -hmm. what is your favorite song um, I have always loved you know before we start rehearsal the duet I do with my leading man people will say we're in love I just think that's a classic love song so so and who is your leading man Mark DBS ah, a veteran, of, veteran yes. of Delta Center stage mm -hmm. so you should make a very striking couple on stage <laughs> what's your favorite number out of it Steve well I have two numbers I sing I have poor Judd is dead or dead as they like to say how, how you said that well poor Judd is dead there you go dead <laughs> and uh, lonely room is my solo that I have 
uh, uh, follows uh, Poor Jet Z, which is a partial duet with Curly, who is Mark DiBiase. Wow, I'm looking forward to seeing mm -hmm. this. And, and uh, it's a great production. Delta Center Stage is a wonderful organization, and I know the community will be out supporting. Tickets are on sale at the door. You can get them in advance. And uh, like we said, curtain goes up tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. Yeah, so. Delta Center sta uh, DeltaStage.com, I do believe, is a website. You can also mm -hmm. buy them at the uh, McCormick's Books and uh, Village Pharmacy mm -hmm. and, the, of course, the uh, Cultural Arts Box Office. Yep, and buy them at the box office. That's so right. break a leg tomorrow night, guys. Thank you. Thanks yeah. so much for being here. I'll see you later today. Yep. <laughs> and we'll be right back. Don't go away.